What's going on guys? You're with Hardy Tech and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Egg Walk. I remembered. And of course I do remember that this video is a part of Team Caterpie Takeover. So if you guys want another video in around 12 hours from now, because I'm still trying to fine tune my schedule, make sure to get this video right here, the one you're watching, to 250 likes, and I'll have another Pokemon Showdown scoreboard video for you guys and tomorrow, today, whatever your time zone is. I don't know. Today's going to be a big day, though, as we are taking on Crash Awake. I did f actually quite a bit amount of training for some reason. Such a little amount of training, theoretically, took actually quite a while to do. But I got everyone up to level 33 with Arnold not learning it. I don't think anybody actually learned any new moves. Um, but, oh my god, I'll go steal. He's so weak damage-wise. Like, his attacking stat. Look at his attacking stat compared to his defensive stats. It's just... It, he has 69 HP, of course. But, um... Yeah, I don't... Actually, no, 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 no. Isaiah evolved at level 30, so that Soothe Bell definitely did help. Um, and he learned Body Slam, actually at level 33, I believe, which is so much better than Tackle. But, yeah, that's the only new move we have, so I'm still a little worried about this gym fight because Crash Awake is still kind of scaring me. Um, can we just walk right to him, or do we have to do, we have to do the entire puzzle again? That's... Do we? Yeah, that's annoying. Okay. Um... Yeah, Crash Awake is, is still kind of scaring me simply for his Gyarados. Like, I'm not afraid of anything else on his team, really, besides the Gyarados. Like, that's the only thing that's really just kind of psyching me out, unfortunately. But, but I think I have a pretty decent strategy with, like, sporing it and Leech Seeding it. As long as I can get it to sleep enough turns to, like, get a Leech Seed off and maybe a Seed Bomb or two, I'm not really afraid of him waking up. I'm more afraid of him getting like crits and stuff i just want to be able to get a leech seed off and i wish i had toxic because getting a toxic on him would be really cool as well just stalling the crap out of gyarados because my pokemon that happened to have electric moves also happened to be weak to water so that's really frustrating but it is now time to take on crash Wake. do i have enough healing items i probably should check this beforehand uh okay i have two super potions okay oh yeah i have plenty of movement mugs all right who do i want to lead with here because that's my bag i want to lead with I guess, I guess Arnold. Arnold's a good choice. Like, Arnold resists the water type moves. I believe he leaves with a Quagsire. Or does he lead with Gyarados? Oh, he might lead with Gyarados. Oh, if that's the case, that's actually, I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. Because, I mean, I guess Octori is maybe a good choice for taking on Gyarados. Who do you lead with? Please, Quagsire. It's Gyarados. Oh, god damn it. I thought he led with Quagsire. It's level 33, which is good. I believe his, um, his... Uh, Float Soul is level 37 or 39, I can't remember. Alright, so Aurora Beam is neutral, Side Beam is neutral, Bullet Seed is technically neutral, but that's so weak. Let's go for Side Beam because we have a chance to confuse Bite. How much is that gonna do? Okay, decent amount. The good thing is I could theoretically switch into Brave on Bite, and that would be resisted, so I'd probably take it. Oh, 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 you took that well. I'd probably actually take it relative. Fuck, I flinched. Okay, that's gonna be an issue, is Bite has a chance to flinch. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Okay, well this has gone absolutely worst way it possibly could so far. Luffy, I know you can resist bite, and you can't possibly flinch when you're switching in. Waterfall! Okay, you know what? I resist that too, actually. I don't know, I wonder if Waterfall would have killed Octori from that range. I feel like it, well, it might have, actually. Okay. Weed Seed is probably higher priority. Um, we can put it to sleep later. I just need Weed Seed to just suck some health off it and to be able to recover some health. Waterfall apparently is a stronger choice than Bite, which actually makes sense because Waterfall is more powerful than Bite and it's Stab, so... Still not doing that much damage, though. So Luffy actually... I just realized, Luffy... It's Nose. I don't know if that's, like, Bray Loom's Nose or whatever, but that little hook... You guys can't see where I'm pointing, obviously. That looks so weird. I just And, it, and the little dot it looks like an eye. Oh my god, now I'm seeing, I'm seeing Bray Loom from behind in a completely different way and... I don't like it. It's freaking me out, guys. Can we just not? Please don't take this down to potion range. Oh, you're going to be in potion range after this leech seed. You little troll. Do I put him to sleep? Should I put him to sleep? I can't decide. Nah, let's just attack him. Yeah, I knew the hyper potion was coming. That's perfectly fine. Because Seed Bomb, I think, is a three-hit KO. But with Leech Seed, Seed Bomb actually won't be able to kill him on this next turn. Gyarados is like the one threat in this game. Because Fort Soul, actually Fort Soul is kind of scary. Because Fort Soul is Ice Fang. And I feel like that's actually going to hit me for quite a bit amount of damage. I also really want to know what Gyarados' other two moves are. Because I know he's Waterfall. I know he's Bite. I assume... Dragon Rage? No, he can't have Dragon Rage. Because he would have gone for it. Because that would have been so logical. Alright, I definitely want to switch out here. Um, I feel like he might have Brick Break. So I don't feel safe going into Isaiah. I don't feel safe going into anybody, actually. Oh my god. 
Let's just stay in with Luffy. I mean, we could probably take an Ice Fang. Because it is only neutral. I mean, these things do have really high attack, though. Sea Bomb, my Ice Fang. Okay, I could totally live this. That's super effective. Oh my god, fighting doesn't resist ice. But we lived it! But we lived it! Oh my god, why did I think that was neutral? I thought fighting resisted ice! Oh, holy crap, this isn't even gonna kill. It's not even, actually, it's going close, it's going close, it's going... Thank you! Holy crap! Oh, oh my god, I almost really messed that up. And I am going to stay in, and I will use my first of three healing items. Whew. Okay. Uh, Amumu Milk, I can't imagine Quagsire being able to touch me, and Sea Bomb is going to completely annihilate it, so... What are you going to do? Mud Shot. Yeah, I resist that. Okay. Well, we're in a really good position now, because Sea Bomb, yeah, dead. We got... I'm sorry, I normally don't speed up gym battles, but that was basically just... Yeah, we knew we were going to win that one. Well, that was... Actually, really underwhelming. Gyarados, like, I almost... If... I kind of wonder what would happen if Breloom would have died there. How would I have handled that situation then? Because I completely messed up thinking fighting resisted ice. I'm like, ow, oh, it's neutral. I don't care. We got Brine, which I don't plan on teaching anybody. Mainly because I... Oh, I do have a Water-type Pokemon, actually. So I will be able to get... Where do you even get Surf in this game? You get Surf from... That's right. You don't get it until you get to, like, Salacion Ruins. No, it's not Salacion Ruins. So you get to wherever... Um, wherever Cynthia's grandmother is. I can't remember the name of that town. It's not Salacion Ruins, is it? No, because Salacion Ruins is, is where you get the fog and all the unknowns. Right? Salacion Town? Is that right? Have you ever, like, had that moment where you, you start to question one thing, and then you start to question, like, every other thing, and you're like, why did I get off my emulator? And then he's like, is this right? Well, if I'm not right about this, then am I right about this thing? And then I just start to question, like, every single thing I've ever known, and it's starting to get to me, guys. I'm already super paranoid as it is. I'm just a naturally paranoid person to the point where I know it's going to give me a heart attack someday. Yes, pun. Um, but... I don't know. Does it... Wait, what was I even questioning? Now? Oh, yeah, Slacy on Ruins. I don't know. Either way, so right before this, I was actually live streaming. A lot of you watching this video probably were at the live stream, because this is actually a pretty, uh, pretty well-viewed live stream. It was, um... A little, but little higher than our average for viewers, so I was happy about that. And we were doing Pokemon Show, and I will get to... Oh my god, I actually just realized. I gotta go remove the video off YouTube that's saying I'm streaming, because people probably still think I'm streaming. I'm so sorry, YouTube. I didn't mean to trick you guys like that. And of course, YouTube isn't loading. I, I gotta go delete the video. Okay, actions. Delete. Okay. Nobody thinks I'm streaming anymore, thankfully. I don't want people yelling at me. Whew. But um, that was actually a really fun stream, because um, over the past few showdown streams I've been doing, I've been keeping counters of, like, how many... Um, you know, wins and losses do I have, because all I do battles against you guys, and I feel bad for people, because there's often, like, um, probably, I would say at least, like, 40 or 50 people who challenge, send challenges and are waiting to battle, and I usually only stream, like, two to three hours, and each battle takes, like, ten minutes, so that's, like, six battles an hour, so we do maybe, like, 20 battles a day or so, and I feel bad, because there should be people who've been waiting, like, every single stream, they come and they challenge, and I just, I don't, I want to battle them, I really do, but I... Um, I probably would have kept streaming longer today, but I had to record this before it's uploaded, and, um, you know, I'm my roommate, Ranger True, uh, he also live streams, and I didn't want to just, like, live stream all day and, you know, not have him be able to live stream. That clearly wasn't fair in my opinion, so, um, and I hopefully have plans tonight, which I'm quite excited about, but... So I, I stopped streaming after two hours, which is... I don't think I've ever streamed less than two hours before. That's, like, the minimum. I think the longest stream I did was, like, five hours. And I, I would love to stream a long time. Like, I sometimes find it hard to stream for a long time when I'm talking by myself. So I'll often get in calls with people when I'm streaming. But when I do that, like, when I'm a call with Spizzles or uh, Ranger before I lived with him or Zabza... Anybody else, when I'm in calls, I often find it a lot harder to interact with the chat, which is, like, the main thing about streaming is you get to, like, interact live with your... Oh, wait, do I... Am I supposed to go back here yet? Or, or do I do the... See, now I'm confused. I don't know if I go back here, or do I go to... I don't even... I don't remember where I'm supposed to go yet. I feel... Wait, wait, did I just... Did I walk past the dude I was supposed to be chasing? I feel like I did. That's right, I'm supposed to be chasing... No, I'm not supposed to be chasing the team black guy, because he just automatically says something, doesn't he? Where am I supposed to be going right now? Because I genuinely don't know. How many times have I played this game? I've played through Platinum so many times, and I get lost in it every single time, because I'm so stupid. I'm not that... I, I like to think I'm not that stupid, but apparently stupid enough to not read any dialogue or know what I'm supposed to be doing in this game right now, and I feel a little embarrassed. Well, Crash your wake, tell me what to do. Is he just still going to be, like, sitting back here? Wait... Oh! I walked... 
I walked right by him. Oh my god, that was so stupid of me. I see, I remember ch like you chased him at some point, but I thought it automatically happened. Like, I didn't realize you had to actually talk to him. I thought it was, like, scripted so that when you got, like, two tiles away from him or something, he freaked out and started running again. The fact that you actually have to... T to be fair, in all logical sense, I should have talked to him. And I, I don't know what was going through my brain that caused me to literally just walk by him and then later on wonder, what am I supposed to do in this game? I wonder if I'm supposed to talk to that Team Galactic. Fam, nah, why would in the world would I talk to him? That's not logical in any way. <sighs> I really worry about myself sometimes, guys, and it's probably a rude thing to say about yourself, but I really do. Oh, hey, it's Nuka! Hello, my friend! The car! The cargo the team lacked the practice of worrisome, so I have come. So you have cargo, you say? It was a bomb. Ah, there was an explosion. How did you not hear? The explosion was a great marsh. Oh, furthermore, you are pursuing a man with a funny boy haircut here. And an outfit that is very strange. Well, I was going to say, you have a strange outfit, but you actually look really badass. I would totally love your clothes. He kind of looks like Doctor Who, actually. He looks like he fit in really well with Doctor Who. In other words, that's Team Galactic. Oh, ho, 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 how Merry Christmas, how did I miss it? Ah, oh, look, this time you've made a mistake in the ages. The man who I see running away, who was bearded with... Oh, I thought he said he was bearded with a bomb, and I'm like, a beard bomb, man, your beard is bomb, man. That would have been cool. Ah, oh, what's the whistle now? Dude, wait, what'd I say? Wait, look at, wait, look, look at, where are you? Did, did we even, was that even a conversation? I don't, well, to be fair, I don't think I have a conversation with anybody, but that was definitely even more bizarre, because, oh, hey, looker, what's up? Aha, uh -huh, my friend, it's you. Yes, I am the one. I am at this hotel now. And I'm interviewing the people to see if they have seen anyone suspicious. I'd like your assistant. Go search outside, if you will. The suspect, he may very soon be way ahead of unnoticed. How did you walk through it? I just realized, this, this hotel has an absolute great business strategy. Because you have no choice but to go through their hotel to get to the other side of the island. And that's like, that's genius. I mean... If I was going to set up a store and I, like, didn't have a lot of business, I would just barricade everywhere in the world except for the store. So people had to come in, and when they're walking you through, I would show them, like, hey, look at this beautiful picture of fruit or something. And then they'd have no choice to buy it because they'd be like, you know what, that is a really stunning bowl. And then I'd guilt trip them because if they didn't buy it, I'd be like, you're walking through my store. You're using my store to get through to the other side. You can't even support the way you're getting through this, man. I have eight kids to pay for. And you ain't supporting me. You can't buy about five bucks for this beautiful painting. I painted it with my own blood. You can't buy this for me so I can feed my kids at night, man. You walk through my store not even showing appreciate for this guy to grab me. And I, 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 I don't have eight kids. I obviously didn't paint this with my blood. I, I stole it from some hobo who's sleeping next to it for some reason. I didn't question I figured I, he probably didn't need it anyways. This seemed like a very uncomfortable way. But still, I got bills to pay. You can't show any kind of appreciation for that, okay? Just, just, just joke it. Four dollars, four dollars. You can have it for four dollars, guys. I will sell you this authentic fruit painted bowl for just four bucks. You never have to bother. Every time you walk through my store from now on, I will never guilt trip you again. I will never make you feel bad. I just, I got kids to feed. I don't have kids to feed. I already told you I don't. I know I'm lying to you. I'm probably a horrible person for that. I apologize. I get really mixed up with my emotions here. I don't remember what, which way am I supposed to go. I just... What am I even talking about? I don't know, Cynthia, what the fuck is in your hair, okay? Can we finally discover that? I've done Platinum, this is my third time playing through Platinum in a Nuzlocke, and I just want to know what is in your hair, because every single time I ask you, you just ignore me and continue on your way. One time I ask you, and you literally just walked away from me, because you're kind of an evil person. I'm going to hope, hope, hope I get to the Pokemon League so I can enjoy every single second of beating you up, you horrible, horrible trainer. It's going to be a very, very wonderful feeling, by the way. I also still don't have anybody that can fly, so I have, like, no choice but to walk all the way to Route 210. Which is really annoying. Um, that's actually really far as well. I'll probably just just do a little time skip to get there because I I've already ranted enough about Cynthia and random things. So I will see you guys at round two ten. Okay. Okay. After that long tiresome journey out of the way, we're gonna use it. I can I catch these Psydex? Oh, does this count as a new route or is this still route two ten? Because. I swear, if I catch like the next Pokemon I catch, it's gonna be capable of learning fly. I can predict this right now. I just know it because I've already had to walk around this entire freaking region without using fly. It's just been so I, what if I get a Pokemon? Like, what if I get to the point where I have to surf and, like, all of my water-type Pokemon are dead? And Snorlax. Like, anyone who's capable of learning surf would be dead. That would really suck. And I feel like that's the exact kind of thing that's happening right now. Because I'm in a position where I can fly. It'd be really, really helpful to fly. But I can't. And... <sighs> It's driving me insane. Oh well. So actually, is this is this a new route? It doesn't change at all. Is it going to be 210 literally the entire way? Woof. That actually really caught me by surprise. I'm not even joking around there. I wasn't expecting that little kid to pop out. Okay. Wow. That's actually kind of high level. We're going to be able to do some relatively decent training here, actually. 
Of course. I, I can't catch you, Ponyta. I'd love to catch you. I'd love to have you on my team. But unfortunately, you, um, this is still Route 210. I feel like this route switches somewhere in here. Like, when it gets foggy, I really feel... It, it doesn't. I really felt like it did. It seems like it would. It, it's weird that this is apparently the entire route the same way through. And I just... I don't believe this is the same route the entire way through. I, I truly believe it changed at some point. Also, I know this trainer. She has an A-Palm. Might be an Ambi-Palm. It has a lot of TMs on it because this is an Ace trainer. It's an A-Palm. It has, like, Aerial Ace and Shockwave of all things. Hey, look, Shockwave. I, you ever get those trainers that you just, like, remember what they are? Like, you don't even need to battle them. You just look at them. You remember, like, have nightmares of them or something. This is one of those trainers for me because I found this trainer so annoying. I don't think she ever killed anything of mine. I just think I got so pissed by the fact that, oh, that's right. Because in a fog, it's, like, so easy to miss moves. Oh, oh, last time, like, when I very first played through Platinum, I found a fog so annoying. So I actually went and caught a, we can go catch a Ghastly and hatch a Pokemon there. I don't remember where the tower is, but we can go catch a Ghastly. And that's actually what I was going to tell the story about, is I went and caught a Ghastly, and, um, or it evolved into a Haunter, and I just literally used Shadow Punch the entire way through this route, because you can't miss Shadow Punch. And I felt kind of cheaper doing it, but it was fun, because, like, nothing ever freaking touched my, um, nothing ever hit the haunter because everything would always miss their moves and i was just abusing shadow punch i definitely want to avoid these two ace trainers i just i could tell i don't remember what pokemon i have but when you see two ace trainers together chances are it's never going to end well for you that's just my word of advice today so i don't even like facing one ace trainer if i can avoid it i'll try facing one two of them is just asking for something to die double team in the fog are you kidding me right now we still hit we still hit! What are the odds of that? I'm pretty sure Fog already cuts your accuracy in half and then with two double teams. Wow, oh my god, I just I just need you to hit one. I just need you to hit one, Woofy. Woofy! Please! He already has he got his four iron defenses up. Can we just hit one? Woofy? Maybe? Okay, thank you. This isn't even gonna kill now. He has plus four defense. It's quite effective, but it's not gonna kill. That only does half. Okay. Can we maybe hit this time? Wanna, okay, you actually want to kill it? That would be really helpful if you actually maybe kill this thing. I would totally appreciate that. I was going to say, I swear if it lives with that min-max damage, that hashtag sliver of HP, I would have been so pissed. Luckily, we killed it. I want to get through this fog as soon as possible. I could have theoretically used the fog. I probably... I don't actually... don't think I have anybody that can learn the fog, but... It's not worth going through ruins just to get the fog for literally this one route. This is the only time. I think... Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Um, are you going to have payback? I feel like you might have payback. Submission. Okay, you might not actually have any moves. You don't have any moves that can hit me. And I'm never going to hit Will with. Finally, I do. Now you're just dead. It's just a matter of time until you die now, thankfully. Because we're never going to hit each other. He can't touch me. I'm never going to hit him. And he dies because of burn. This is the fog. There are two places, like, in this entire region, the fog is useful. One, this route, which is super annoying. And the other place you use fog, there's no trainers in. And you can get through it in 30 seconds if you just walk in a straight line. It's so stupid. But... I should probably heal up because all of my Pokemon are getting pretty beat up. Poor Luffy, you're paralyzed. Do I have a paralyzed heal? I do have a paralyzed heal. I have one paralyzed heal. I'm wasting my one paralysis heal on you. Don't make me feel like I wasted it. Oh, it's a Helen Keller! You gotta reflect, that's really annoying. And of course I'm gonna miss every single attack from now on. Noctowl! Sweet! I don't know what to do against you. Um, I guess just keep staying in, and you are super specially bulky. As you say, you're going to take those Aurora Beams. Well, actually, not super well. It is a 3 at KO. That's super effective Aurora Beam from a special attacker. It takes three of them to kill a Pokemon, and I'm a higher level then. Finally, our last trainer battle against the old man before we get through this damn place. Oh, you're going to make me switch out. You're so annoying. Fire Punch is... Ooh, you will make your power, and that, luckily, I managed to go it. Okay. We're not done with this thing. You have more Pokemon. Really? Why Why would you do this to me? Why does this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. I don't have any water types. God, I want to surf. But I just can't. Actually, I can't surf. I just realized. Uh, Snorlax can learn surf. I don't want to give Snorlax surf if I can resist not doing it. But if I absolutely have to. But we'll be able to catch two new Pokemon here, because we could fish in this town, which I'm still convinced is Salacion Town, but I know it's not. In the back of my head, I'm convinced it's Salacion Town. Celestic Town. I was, I was close. So, let's actually get the, the two Pokemon first. So, let's go fish. Do I have the... Nope, that's selected. Okay. Where's my old rod? That's right, we're still using the old rod. Do I have the good rod now, actually? Nope, I didn't get the good rod. I didn't go get the good rod. I should have. I was near Hearthstone. 
Or, um, Hearthstone, that's not right. Hearthstone, by the way, I really like Hearthstone. It's a very fun game. Hearthstone, I was near Heart Home and I didn't get the good old good rod because I like having weak Pokemon. I just find it rather amusing. Not even nibble. Okay, you know what? Screw the stuff. We're just going over to the next round and catch Pokemon there instead. On round 211, because we're obviously not destined to fish a Graveler. Ooh. Ah! This is why we can't have nice things. I, I'm not even gonna bother being upset. I should be upset, but I'm not gonna. Whatever. Let's just go. Are we? Do we want to take on Cyrus? Cy 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 Cyrus? Cyrus. Yeah, that's his name. I might as well take it on. I have nothing better to do today. As to kill everybody. Ooh, Bubble Beam. At least I can destroy you. Go back. I'm going to have so much satisfaction destroying all of your Pokemon as vengeance because I know somehow Team Black Deck, I can't prove it, but I know somehow you guys are responsible for me getting that critical hit on that freaking Graveler just now. It's your guys' fault. I know it, okay? And because of that, I just realized, I didn't give a crap if you guys took over the world before. It's not my world. It's my world, technically. I live here, but I didn't give a crap if you guys took over and wanted to change this into a better place. Maybe I wouldn't like this better place you're trying to change it into. Just create this whole new world. I'm always open for change. To at least experiment with what you guys want to try. But then you made me get a critical hit on the Graveler, and now you guys are basically dead to me. I will do everything in my power, in my Pokemon's power, to absolutely destroy you from ever... Do I, do I have to do is, is talk to the cave? Is he, is he, yeah, okay, he shows up. I'm going to destroy you guys from the inside out. I'm going to join. I would like to apply for Team Galactic. I would like to join you guys' routes. Make you think that I am one of you. That I am for your cause. I will go up your ranks, becoming more and more trustworthy until I am right next to you, Cyrus. And then it's going to happen. And you're not going to be prepared for it. You're going to sit there thinking, this is it. This is the day our plan is going to go into action. Because I can trust this guy. Together we will build a new world. But then, no. I will stab you in the back. Not with it. No, I won't actually stab you in the back because I don't really condone violence. I will push you off a ledge because a playful push accidentally push you off a ledge into a spiky pit of of rubber balls so you don't actually get hurt or anything i don't know why it's spiky if it's rubber balls but pain and not very much pain is going to be in your future and then you're going to be sad and then you'll i, I don't even know what's happening in this one basically i'm going to torture you I'm not actually going to torture you because I'm, I'm not a violent person. I'm a very, I like to think I'm a very nice person. I don't want to cause any really unnecessary misery, but oh my god, can we just take a second to appreciate Cyrus' battle theme? I always forget how much I love his theme. It's such a good song. I was not expecting you to leave the Sneasel. I was expecting you to leave the Houndoom, but I could actually deal with the Sneasel just, you're actually kind of high level. That's a little scary. Um, what are you, I think he has Houndoom and Crobat aside from his Sneasel. Actually, he might have a Golbat at this point. I don't think he'll have a Actually, because he has a Sneasel, he might not even have Hound Doom. He might have Hound Door, which would really soon... Oh, that's actually a really good combination. Slash, oh my god. Slash has a high crit chance, plus he used Screech. Like, another... If he gets Crit Slash, that's gonna kill me. Or, oh, speaking of critical hits, the revenge has begun, Cyrus. Your downfall starts now. Enjoy it. Okay, you do have a go bad, as I predicted. I do want to switch out into... I guess Isaiah... Because I get Body Slam, at least it's neutral. Because I have lower defense, so I don't really want to risk taking... I don't know, it's not like you have Brave Bird or anything. You probably just have Confusion, or Confuse Ray, because you're just a big troll. Oh, I can Zen Headbutt you. I was just going to Body Slam. Poison Fang. Okay, you do have a physical move, and please don't poison me. I might actually have Immunity, so I might not be able to get poisoned. I don't know if I have Immunity or Thick Fat. I should totally check that. Is this going to one-shot? It... Yeah, okay, well I can at least check before I forget what my ability is, because I'm curious now. I have Thick Fat. Okay, that's fine. I'm almost positive Snorlax gives immunity. I don't think Supersonic? Really? You don't even have Confuse Ray yet? You're just gonna be like that 50% troll? I think I get more upset by Supersonic than Confuse Ray, because Confuse Ray is gonna hit every time, so it's gonna happen. Supersonic, that's like a 55% chance of actually hitting, and... <sighs> please just, please just kill it. Please just kill it. Okay, thank you. Really? Really? We're, we're gonna go that way? We're gonna, we're gonna play that way? Okay, fair enough. Thank you for stabbing out of confusion. Thank you for hitting Zen Headbutt. Isaiah, Isaiah, are you are you trying to turn against me? We can't have a backstabber backstabbing a backstabber. That's just too much backstabbing, okay? We just need to be focused on one goal here. That Graveler could have turned into a very useful Pokemon that could fly and that you stole. You almost, you tried to take that away from me and I don't appreciate that one bit. So, 
Let's go into cheese, because I, I just realized, I have a huge dark and flying weakness. So something like Murkrow, like, really covers my team well. But, uh, let's just go for a charge beam. It's not spin attack. I, oh, I'm not scared of that at all. I should be able to take that easy. Maybe not. Holy poop. Oh, and you're only level 30. I think you're level 30. Oh, you're 36. Okay, well, that explains why that did so much. Oh, you take that a lot better than you should have. You should go for another faint attack, though. So I feel safe going into Luffy. Yeah, seriously, I have, like, a huge flying dark weakness right now. That's not good. Nightshade. Okay, that's actually perfectly fine. I don't know my Nightshade because I can force bomb you. It should be neutral. <gasps> oh, my God, what was I thinking? Luffy, no! Oh, I thought it was going to be faster. I thought I was going to be faster. What is your speed stat? 73? What is monkeys? 68. Oh my god, I'm not going to outspeed this thing with anything. I guess, I guess Arnold's the best choice because I can roar beam and I can, I can more than likely take... Oh my god, I don't know what I was thinking there. I thought I resist dark, so I should be able to take a hit. And he went for Nightshade and I'm like, okay, I'll outspeed it and I'll kill it. Apparently Murkrow was just the fastest freaking thing. Completely caught me off guard. <sighs> Would it be an egg lock if I didn't do something stupid, right? Seems legit. Okay. Cyrus, this just means, means I want to play. Murkrow was strong against four of my six Pokemon, and Snowax is already pretty beat up, and Octillery was pretty beat up, and Octillery still almost died. That's terrifying. But the good news is now we have Surf, and this is actually a really good time to bring on Piplup. I think Piplup is like the perfect fit for our team right now because we need a water type. A steel type would be really good coverage because um, I don't have to worry about the poison he'll live. Um, I don't have to worry about this the flying weakness anymore. Uh, dark resist or steel still resists darkness generation, so steel will really benefit us. Yeah, I think we're bringing Piplup on the team. I think that's like the best thing for us to bring on right now. I'm very terrified of Piplup dying, because it more than likely will, because that's how I just my Nuzlocks go. Because, um, I kind of maybe live with the person who sent Piplup in, <laughs> and I'm a little terrified of what might happen if it dies. That could be a little scary, but Piplup is going to be joining our team after, unfortunately, oh, I can't believe Luffy died. If I had to see the good side, it means we're getting rid of one of our two fighting types, which was really annoying, but... Piplup, welcome to the team. You're going to be our new Surf War. You, you will attack. You're only level 1. Did I get you for Togepi? Oh, I didn't level up Fun Time. Or Tyrogue. I have no idea what level you're supposed to be, but I feel like it should be higher than level 1? Maybe. I'll probably go back and find when I hatch Piplup so I can get the correct level and then just give it the XP share, I guess. But anyways, that is going to do it for us today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and are excited about Piplup and sad about Luffy, please feel free to show your support by clicking the like button down below. But until next time, guys, I'm Hardy Tokyo. Yo, yo. Peace. Bye.